Welcome back to Nation. This is LGBK, aka so Today we're going to be reacting to another new video. This is going to be a reaction to uh, Black Air Force Activity. This is going This is based off of the show uh, Invincible with Omni Man. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh oh. Yo, this show is going to be fun. T. Just ahead of time, it's going to be spoilers if you haven't seen the series already, but it's hilarious. It's a parody of Invincible, the Amer Amazon Prime series. So let's get right into it. Look how he just duck slaps Rex, bruh. I enjoyed that <laughs> way too much. Play that shit. I enjoyed that <laughs> way too much. Play that <laughs> Jaeger. Oh, so he does other series too. Uh oh. Right, so I'll watch I gotta watch his Naruto version. I only got one thing to say, bro. This man, Omni Man, has pure black Air Force activity. Yes, damn it, I said it. J. Jonah Jameson has finally showed us his true power. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Your ass best be Because J. Jonah Jameson is not playing any more games, bro. But anyways, yo, this man, Omni Man, is a pure savage. Like, I have never seen something <laughs> like this before. And after watching this, I might have to do something, bro. I just they do look like him, too. In the round table of black Air Force activity. Now, I know Invisible is not an anime. But pff, shit, we might have to make an exception. So y'all already know I got the evidence on deck, and we will see if this man. <laughs> Yo, who was at the round table? Look who's at the round table. Vegeta, of course, freaking Vegeta. Freaking Madara. Madara's goaded. Madara's goaded. That's my. That's my. Yo. Yeah. Air Force all day. Vegeta definitely wins the cake. He takes the cake as far as Black Air Force activity out of all these characters. Um, we got Attack on Titan character on here. We got Boo, Majin Boo. Yeah, he would definitely have some Black Air Force activity in him. And we got the dude from Shampoo. Oh my goodness. So many different faces, but we know who the standout is. Vegeta wins this one as far as Black Air Force activity. Table of Black Air Force activity. But before we start our investigation, let me go ahead and give out that spoiler warning real quick. If you have not seen Invincible, do not watch this video because you will be spoiled. But like for real though, if you have not seen this show, I highly recommend watching it. In all honesty, it's one of the best shows I've seen in a minute. But anyways, <clears throat> exhibit A. This man murked the entire bootleg Justice League or the Guardians of the Globe, whatever the fuck you want. My nigga, they the bootleg Justice League. I mean, look at some of these niggas, bro. We got bootleg Flash, bootleg Wonder Woman, bootleg Batman, bootleg Aquaman, but he's a whole ass, musty ass, stank ass fish. Then we got bootleg Martian Manhunter. And then I don't know who the fuck <laughs> is supposed to be. Oh my God, he used the Uncle Ruckus, bro. The Uncle Ruckus theme. That's hilarious, bro. Y'all know nothing about Boondocks. I don't to tell you. Stank ass fish. Then we got bootleg Martian Manhunter. And then I don't know who the fuck this supposed to be. I'm just calling cream bitch. Then we got this nigga. I don't know who the fuck this supposed to be either. But yo, this man Omni Man hold every single last one of their asses, dog. Like look what he did to bootleg Flash, bro. He crushed his head slowly. And while he was doing that, he was trying to punch him, but he was breaking his hands while doing it. And what makes this worse, this shit probably felt like an eternity for him. So he just face plays Walmart woman and he grabs bootleg Batman out of the fucking air and slams his ass on the canvas and then green bitch just got annihilated like he put his whole hand through her face yeah. then used her as a body shield then he just collabed with aqua nigga and got his ass ready to be stuffed in a fresh can of tuna hey but lucky though they did start jumping him though <laughs> i remember that they slaughtered him fight back fight back, fight back. But then he rips off Martian Manhunter. He chased this nigga so hard he blew his back out. Sent Walmart woman back to the great town. And sent this nigga back to the great I remember that. Uh, that's exhibit A. Uh, on to exhibit B. This man I want to see how he go up against Walmart. 
So these aliens are attacking Earth and shit, right? So this man, Omni-Man, comes in, right? Makes them go back to their portal and retreat. But Omni-Man said, fuck that, nigga. Y'all ain't going nowhere. So he flew through their portal to their planet and murked the entire civilization. And he did this shit in, like, the matter of seconds. And to top it off, bruh, they literally made him a portal so he could leave and go back to Earth. But to thank him for that, he decided to drop a big-ass rock on their asses. Then just leave. <laughs> Bro. And the thing is, bro, in this episode, he said something that should have set off red flags for, like, everybody. You don't seem to understand Earth isn't yours to conquer. <laughs> This man said, Earth isn't yours. I remember that. So in my head, I was like, hmm, wait a damn minute. Something ain't right here. But Lord have mercy, bro. This shit was just getting started. But before we go into Exhibit C, our final exhibit, we're going to take a little detour. This is just season one. A little special exhibit. So without further ado, let's run Exhibit S. <laughs> We got to talk about Battle Exhibit Beast. All right, I know this is an Omni-Man video, but y'all know damn well I was going to talk about this nigga. This man is a absolute savage. This dude literally bodied everybody's shit. This dude literally came to Earth only because he thought they had worthy opponents, bro. Uh, but obviously, uh, them niggas were not worthy for shit. Look how he just bitch slaps Rex. I ain't seen that shit way too much. Let's see it again. <laughs> Obviously, if you cannot tell, I do not like Rex. Well, I mean, he ain't as bad as Amber, though. Jesus Christ. Her ass belongs to these streets, bruh. But you know, but you know what? That's for a whole nother video, bro. <laughs> he just smacks this nigga, bruh. Sent his ass to oblivion. He <laughs> is a Taco Bell. This was when I realized there is no plot armor in this show at all. And he based <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> and look at this ass <laughs> having that. <laughs> what the fuck is your stupid ass gonna do, dog? You deserve to get your wrist broke. Like, you just saw the strongest dude in the room get body. Like what bright idea went through your head when you thought of this? I have no powers. The strongest dude in the room with powers just got body. What should I do? Bull wash his ass. <laughs> And then Monster Girl tried to attack him, but he sent her ass to the shadow room immediately. And this man got so bored because they were so damn weak to the left. Absolute savagery, bro. So that was our special exhibit, Exhibit S, and uh, it is time to move up into Exhibit C. Omni-Man, Omni-Man, Omni-Man. Okay, so the entirety of Exhibit C is basically the entirety of Episode 8. But some stuff happened before that real quick. So some dude's trying to run up on him, but he broke every single one of them. He broke Homeboy's spine. And then the immortal dude came back to life just to get his ass clapped and sent back to Valhalla again. So then we finally figure out what these Biltrumites actually are. They are not like Kryptonians. Everything Omni-Man said from day one from the jump was a damn lie. These niggas are Saiyans. They got a whole ass empire and everything, dog. So after he told all this to his son, he called his wife a pet. What? I do love your mother, but she's more like a, a pet. He called his wife a pet. Oh my god, bro. This actually kind of hurt me a bit too. I was like, damn. How you gonna call your own wife a pet, G? So after that, he just starts beating the dog shit out of Mark. But then these jets come to like, what, stop him or something? What the fuck are jets going to do to this nigga? Like, these dudes are literally sitting ducks. So obviously, they get murked. I feel bad for that one dude, though, bro. He got saved and everything. He was like, oh my god, I'ma live. Hip, hip, hooray. Killed him. Instead, you saved him. So much effort. For what? Bro. Hey, yo, RIP the background to 985C, man. Then he decks his ass all the way to the city. Yeah. Oh, bro, bro, bro. The train. The goddamn train. I'm not going to cap. When I first saw this scene, I started screaming, dog. He used him as a meat shield. To literally kill everybody on that train. Oh, bro. bro. This, this scene right here just had me like shook. Me and all the homies were just sitting on the couch like, damn. Yeah, he he damn. really just did that. Used his own son as a meat shield. Then he slams his ass through a carnival cruise ship. Then threw his ass to the Arctic. 
caused a whole ass avalanche, then this is where the real ass whooping began. What's 17 more years? I can always start again. Make another kid. This man really said, I could always make another kid. Oh my god. How do you this know my son that? Then he just ground and pounded his face until he turned his face into a goddamn piece of meatloaf. And then obviously, of course, we get our world famous meme. You're fighting so you can watch everyone around you die. Think, Mark. Woo. Jesus Christ, yeah. Okay, um, y'all, I'm gonna have to make an exception. Sam, Mark, the first Damn. outside anime character to the round table of Black Air Force activity. I, I, I can't deny this. This is pure savagery on another level in hell. You know what? I'll have Battle Beast in that hole, too. My God. Yo. But anyways, um, man, Invincible, this show deserves all the praise, man. I was not expecting this. I thought it was going to be just a generic ass superhero show. But my God, man, this blew that out the water. So, man, I, I can't wait for season two or three, man. It's, it's going to be fire, bro. But anyways, y'all go ahead, take it easy, man. I'm going to go ahead and head on. <laughs> But I thought it was gonna be meme based. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be more meme based. Like it's gonna be like a whole parody that he did with him doing that. But it's more like a funny review thing. But it was cool though. It was some slight. I enjoyed it nonetheless. Uh, other than that though, I appreciate you all for tuning in. Thank you for watching again. This is your boy Junior Case, aka Junior Reacts, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Junior Case, aka Junior Reacts, out. Peace.